here at AACR, we ask the question, how do you isolate pure cells from FFPE? We have Nicholas from Silicon Biosystems. Yes. I enjoyed your poster very much this morning. What Thank can you, you tell us about it? So we uh, presented today how you can really get to pure cells uh, from an FFP uh, specimen and uh, how you can do that in a digital way. So you at Arion Torrent have brought uh, the digital to the next generation sequencing, but sample preparation, pre-analytic is still analog. And this impact the fact that you can get real pure homogeneous cells. So NGS is very good in processing data, but what we can bring to the table in the pre-analytic is digital uh, through this uh, microchip. It's also based in microelectronics as the ion torrent. So we have this small chip here which can sort cells. So from the FFPE we can disaggregate cells, inject them into the chip, and then we can separate uh, uh, the tumor cells 100% pure and also separate the stromal cells. So what you get by this, even from archival sample, you can match the normal and the tumor, which is very important. And also what we observe is something nobody has ever observed. Uh, in a pure sample, you can see loss of heterozygosity very clearly. You can see the um, uh, homozygous tumor variants, which are only wild type in the stroma. And also you can clearly see copy number variations as deviations from the 50% variant frequency, which you observe when you look at the stroma cells. From the poster, I noticed that you use several different stains, right? So you can go ahead and yeah. basically sort. We do this by uh, leveraging on uh, uh, two antibodies for keratin and bimentin for stromal and uh, uh, tumor population. And then we exploit uh, ploidy analysis based on DAPI staining, which is representative on uh, the overall DNA content. So we can also s uh, separate cells based on ploidy. And the important thing is that on this chip, you, it's a flawless system. So you inject the sample and you get uh, uh, the cells standing still, you take images and then you can set the threshold a posteriori so you can adapt to the various staining which can change from sample to sample. And then downstream I noticed a chart that was very interesting with regard to low sample numbers of pure sorted cells. Yeah. And then you did, is it the ion amplicy cancer yeah. panel analysis? Yeah, we, we exploited the ion amplicy cancer panel because uh, uh, that is ideal to work with a smaller number of cells. And we were able really to push it also beyond uh, what is uh, normally the nominal value. We were down to 300 cells and down and down and uh, down to a few tens of cells we could get a library. A few and tens of cells. A few tens of cells from FFPE, so very challenging. We could get a library and uh, actually uh, from 60 cells above, we can really get clear-cut results, so we can, uh, after separation of the cells on the depuray, uh, you, have, you have more kind of a germline uh, situation, because the cells are homogeneous. Yes. You're not hunting from uh, rare, rare alleles. Alleles variants from the background and the noise floor. You really get uh, clear-cut results, so you can get conservative thresholds, uh, like 10% uh, variant frequency, and get only true positives because the false positive are below that uh, level all the time. And that titration showed very low variability because of that purity yes. of the cell isolation. Yeah, purity is key and so uh, there's a lot here around about precision medicine and this is really what we want to bring to the table. We bring precision to the pre-analytics, which is key to get good results when you do NGS. And also we demonstrated that, uh, uh, this is important also for the discovery part, that we can uh, uh, get out uh, pure cells from uh, underrepresented population, like uh, double positive cells, which show both keratin and vimentin, which are the cells undergoing uh, epithelial to mesenchymal transition. Well, thank you very much for sharing. You're welcome. You heard it here first, folks. Stay tuned on Behind the Bench for more information.